Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, keep in mind that this reading is really for the month of de December. So this is being recorded at the end of November. If it doesn't resonate now, check back. Okay, this is a, uh, for the future, so keep that in mind. And if you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. Okay, so if you are in a happily ever after relationship and you continue to watch this reading, then you're obviously not happy. So let's see what comes up for Capricorn. Hostilities. That makes sense. Somebody is holding on to some hostilities. There could be some arguments. There could be some pettiness going on between people. This is my second reading for you guys, just so you know. So, there is some sort of uh, animosity amongst you and somebody else. And I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Envy. There's, there's envy here. There's jealousy. It's impacting your life during this month. Whether you are the jealous one or the person that you're dealing with is jealous. Okay? So, what else does Capricorn need to know for the month of December? Capricorn. Capricorn. Generally, I focus on love. We'll see whatever comes up. You may be in like the war zone or feeling like you're in the war zone. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Either way, somebody has been blocking the truth. And now there's some sort of revelation. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. And it's probably going to cause somebody to move on. Or to move in a new direction. It's like a reality check with the moon reverse. You can't escape you can't escape any longer. You can't block whatever is coming out any longer. It's been blocked and hidden long enough. Now it's time to move in a new direction. Away from the hostilities. This is about listening to your inner guide. Having faith and trust. Believing in yourself. You could be dealing with a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is Leo Aries Sagittarius. This is uh, the Five of Cups. This is emotional disappointment. Hurt. Being. Emotionally discontent. This is like a. Uh, there could be a breakup. Okay. With this Six of Swords right here. There could be a breakup. There's been a lack of communication. Probably from this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, been holding on, holding on to some secrets. Somebody has been keeping some secrets with that moon card. And it's caused an emotional loss, okay? Somebody is, is really feeling like um, going through a difficult time. There's, there's some sort of grieving.
not realizing that there's an opportunity, there's another opportunity, but somebody is grieving over some sort of loss. Now, I'm not sure if there. this is the Ace of Cups. This is a new opportunity. Okay, the Two of Cups to the Ace of Cups. There's a new opportunity waiting here. If somebody could truly move on and stop grieving over this lie, whatever it was. I mean, but that this is a, the Moon card, which is deception, lies. Somebody is still you know, pondering and, and revisiting the pain when there's a new opportunity for, for love being offered to you if you could just see it and believe in it and trust it. Trust that this spill or this loss happened for a reason. Somebody is still crying over that spilled milk. If they could just move on, they will get the true love that they deserve with a true commitment. There, some, of it, some of you are dealing with a Leo that has hurt you. See, it's right over the loss. And you're going to need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to take back your power from this person, whoever it is. You're going to need to find your focus and your concentration to stop blocking the truth. Stop crying over the loss. Stop crying over the spilled milk. Could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Taurus. There's an opportunity to have togetherness and to work together and to have a commitment with a new love. If you could just see it and stop focusing on Whatever this is, you're focusing on a, a deception. It's time for closure. It's time to close that chapter. Close that, that, um, let go of the guilt. Let go of the, uh, depression. It's time to close it. Close that door. This is the hostility. Stop holding on to the hostilities from somebody who deceived you and lied to you. Find the strength and the courage to move on. Find the strength and the courage to stop focusing on the loss and move on. To new love because there's a new opportunity for love here. True love and commitment. Could be with a Taurus. Could be anybody. But the loss, I think the loss is a fire sign. Because he, so the loss is over here. He's looking over here. It's a, probably a Leo or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And the, and the truth has been blocked. Or, or it's a Pisces because it's connected to this. There's a loss. It's either a Pisces or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Leo. And it, it looks as though, you know, this person didn't appreciate you. They didn't want to work with you. And now there's some regrets, there's some hostilities that need to be released so that you can get the love that you deserve, so that you can be appreciated, so that you can have the togetherness and the commitment that you know that you want. So, let's see. So this, this month is about... Releasing hostilities that have held you back from true love. It's about taking back your power. Somebody has been blocking love by holding on to what hurt them. Blocking love by holding on to what hurt them. And hold being, you know, there's resent, there's bitterness, anger. There's been two, two women, there's two women here.
And now there's an opportunity to choose another path that leads to happiness. But you have to close that chapter. This is completion, closure, closure. Close that chapter of that relationship that left you crying and disappointed. There's an opportunity for closure during this month. Absolutely. Completion. It's over. And this completion leads to new love. It leads to happiness and happily ever after where you will be, where you will be appreciated. So I believe that you're going to receive an offer if you stop focusing on the loss. There's a, there is a new offer of love here. Love and commitment that leads to something really beautiful. If you can forgive and heal. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. That's what this card means. It's time. To let go of those hostilities in that past hurt. It's time to really, really heal. Close that chapter. The worst is over. Okay? So yeah, there's an opportunity to perhaps heal even with another person. Because this is love coming in to help you heal. Interesting. Both cards of healing. No shit. Extreme healing. So this, you're going to get some closure this month, Capricorn. One chapter of your life. Is, is coming to an end. Because, it's, for one, the time is now. It's something that you've patiently waited for, whether you liked it or not. The things have been up and down. You've been on a roller coaster ride, and it's time to heal. It's time for you to be happy. The time is now. For you to receive the happiness that you deserve. It's time for you to regain the balance that has been lost. You're not the same person that you used to be. The suffering that you have been through has brought you growth. It's enlightened you. And now you have an opportunity for extreme happiness as you close this chapter of deception and let go of the bitterness and the resent and the anger and the hostilities that have been blocked and buried within you for quite some time. I feel as though you are going to get a new offer of love that is going to help you to heal. And it's going to lead to long-term commitment. You were dealing with somebody that was a bully, abusive, mean-spirited, But it looks as though you are on the path to healing for sure. Because now you have a new offer from somebody that is genuine and has really good intentions. True love. So yeah, you, you, you are absolutely receiving an offer of love, Capricorn. Or you're offering true love. It could go either way. This leads to happiness. Extreme happiness. It's going to help you to heal and bring balance back to your life. It's a time of receiving the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So yeah, you guys are about to receive some something really, really good. After going through a very difficult time of suffering, difficult, you have been dealing with somebody that lied to you, deceived you, hurt you, and broke you. And now you are finding the 
strength and the courage to take back your power and and you're being brought some something that is really 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 good no doubt about it extreme happiness with somebody that heart is true you're closing this closure here the Nine of Swords with the Ten of Cups. There's closure with this mean-spirited individual who verbally, mentally, or physically, or whoever, somebody, abuse, there's abuse here. But that chapter of your life is coming to an end. You are going to receive the closure that you need to move towards happily ever after. Somebody is coming in to help you heal. Brought to you from heaven, seriously. Time is now. It's divine time. It's the time is now for you to receive after you've been left out in the cold, after you have been suffering over a deceptive situation for quite some time. So yeah, you've got a new love offer. Absolutely. With that Ace of Cups. A new love offer that could lead to extreme happiness, balance, harmony, extreme bliss, commitment. But you have to fight, you have to be confident, you have to hold your head up high and not look back. Don't let your negative thinking. Your pessimism, your old ways, your fears, stop you from accepting this offer. There's a lack of confidence here because you dealt with somebody who stole your power. But you have the opportunity to, you're getting it back. You're getting, and somebody is coming to help. Somebody is absolutely coming to help. This person is the complete opposite of what you dealt with in the past. Complete opposite. Thank you, Lord. Nothing, nothing like the other one. Make sure you can see that a little bit better. So yeah, you guys have a new opportunity for love. With somebody that has really good intentions. And they're going to help you to heal. And they're going to be committed to you. This could even lead to marriage. Seriously. But you have to give it energy, Capricorn. Do you have... This is like... You have to put it... You have to... <clears throat> Does love matter? Yeah, this is the question, okay? Do you have time for it? Can you fit it in? Because we have somebody here, which would be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that doesn't have time for love. You don't want to throw away this opportunity for something really, really beautiful by, because this is throwing away an opportunity from somebody that is really, really genuine because you don't have time for it. Make time for love. It's not all about the money. Love or money. You're going to have to make a compromise. This is a compromise. You're going to have to balance. And this is balance. Balance out love and money for this to work. So yes, you have an opportunity for love, commitment, long-term to move in a new direction towards extreme happiness and bliss, but you are going to have to make some compromises. Balance the two. Give time to both, not just one. Because you have an opportunity for forever. Seriously. If you can balance out love and money. Make it work. 
work together. This person is going to work with you. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to they're going to be committed. All you have to do is make sure that you're giving time and energy to to both, not just one. Let go of some responsibilities, perhaps. Stop. I mean, I know this is really hard for you, Capricorn. You don't always have to be... You don't have to do it all on your own. You don't have to work, 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 work. Maybe you need to let something go so that you can get the extreme happiness that you deserve. Maybe you just let go of one or two things so that you can let love in. So yes, there is an opportunity for extreme happiness here with somebody that really wants to make it work, wants to put in the effort, is genuine, is not like the one that lied to you and deceived you. I think you're going to receive the closure from that situation that allows this new relationship to blossom. But the only thing is, is that you have to choose to give it your energy. You have to choose to fit it in. You have to choose to make love a priority. And to close that old chapter of hurt. So yes, it's time to let go of those hostilities because you have a new love here. That's what this is. Stop blocking love by burying yourself in everything but love. Because that's a protection. That's what's going on here. It's like, I'm just going to bury myself and that's going to protect me. It's going to protect me to bury myself in my job and my work. Right? It's, it's, a, it's like a self-protection tactic and people even do it subconsciously. So, I feel as though you do have this offer and it's genuine, it's real, and it could lead to <clears throat> awesomeness. But you have to you have to want it. You have to be able to have time for it. You have to perhaps you have to make some compromises and let go of something so that you can fall in love. Oh reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now this could be somebody that um you've been with before or not. This could be somebody that you went to school with. This could be somebody from a past life. This could be the one that you get closure with. They come back. And you close that chapter. That could certainly be the case. It's where you decide that, no, there's been, there's been, I have no confidence in this. There's going to be no victory and success. There's been no progress made. It could be that. Or this could be the new love. It could go either way. This is making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change to allow love. You could be dealing, you could have somebody that comes back that has made a conscious change and they want a reconciliation and it could lead to love. It could go many ways. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. We've already talked about this. There's an opportunity if you have time for love. True love. If you put in the effort. This could be with somebody that you have known before. You're going to have to let go of the past hostilities so that this love can blossom. Because there's an opportunity for, I mean, you could even get proposed to. This is so good. Marriage, long-term, happiness. Congratulations. It's the closure of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. Congratulations. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and it's time. It's time for you to receive the love that you deserve. So yeah, it's all about love for you this month, Capricorn. Close that door. 
to the hostilities and the lies and the deception that has hold you back. It's time to he let go of those past hurts. This person is here to help you. And they're in it for the long haul. Good luck.